Hello and welcome to the 14th tutorial of the series. This lesson will be the last in looking at the 3D Studio Max interface. The basics that you know so far should be alright with regards to creating more complex objects or scenes. Now everything we do after these intro lessons will cover a bit of all that we've learned so far. But if you feel there's anything missing, just request it by going to www.acrito.com and then clicking on the tutorials tab. In this lesson, I'll be mainly focusing on cameras. These are very important when preparing scenes for rendering. Now, before you set up our cameras, go ahead and create a few objects in your scene. That's what we've got so far. To create a camera, whilst you're under the Create panel, go to the fourth tab and then click on that. Now you've got the option to either create a target camera or a free camera. Now the target gives you more control so you can decide where you're looking at and you can decide how far. So for now we leave that there and you notice we've got this little square in the middle that allows us to control it even further. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you create a free camera. As soon as you click there we've got our camera so it's up to you to manually rotate it until you get everything within your scene into the camera's view. But I'm going to delete that. I'll just focus on the target camera. So with regards to the camera we've created, you notice from the front viewport and the left viewport, you notice our camera is very much in line with the bottom part of our object. From the perspective window, now if you hit the letter C on your keyboard, this is what we will be looking at uh, from our camera. Press the letter P to return to your perspective viewport. And another way to access the camera view is to right click, go to views, and then select whichever camera you've got on your scene. So I'll click that, and that's what we're seeing. You can direct it through your scene by using these arrows here. So as I click and drag that from the front viewport, you notice we're changing the camera position. We're literally pivoting around this small box here. Had it been a free camera, would have been moving the whole camera around and it would have been a bit messy. So that's one way to control your camera. Another way to do it would be whilst you've got your camera selected here, you can now use these tools down here to control it. So I can take the rotate and as I rotate it, you notice on the other viewports, it's rotating around. You can even zoom in and out. You can pan it. As you pan the camera, you notice we're actually moving the whole camera around. Even the point that was supposed to be uh, fixed is moving around as well. So that gives you greater control and uh, it allows you to sort of position your camera however you see fit within your scene. The advantage of having a camera is that you can create a lot of them to look at different sides of your object. So um, let me show you how that works. You go ahead back to your create panel or your create tab, hit target again, and then just click and drag. This time maybe let's use the, the front viewport. So just click and drag, and then we drop it. We drop it right next to our object. So now when I press C, you notice we've got this select camera box pop up, meaning it will now allow us to select whichever camera we want to be viewing our scene from. So I'll hit one again. Um, now we are using that viewport as our as one of our cameras as well. So any of or any of the viewports you've got opened, you can turn them into whichever camera you want, and maybe you can now control that camera. Um, that's the original camera. You can control that camera to see what, to see how it's going to look. So you maybe want to render camera one to be focusing on the cylinder and maybe camera two to be looking at the overall object. That's up to you. So that was a very quick and basic tutorial on what cameras are and how we can use them. We would definitely use cameras when it comes to rendering complex scenes or setting up around buildings or interiors uh, and, and similar things like that. But as for this tutorial, 
uh, I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I'm going to call it an end there and I will look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. Bye for now.